Hey, it's Nico from Shortcut. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial. I think in three minutes, you can learn everything you need to know about how to use Shortcut. So on the left side, you have your spreadsheet. It's going to look very familiar. It's Microsoft Excel with full feature parity or Google Sheets. And you can do whatever you want in the spreadsheet. Now on the right side, you have the Shortcut agent. And you can ask Shortcut for anything. So I can say, build a three statement model. And it will do that. Um, oftentimes, it'll take somewhere between 2 and 15 minutes to complete a task, depending on its complexity, but it'll be much faster than you on, on hard tasks. Now, I'll pause it because you've likely seen demos. But from here, I want to get into the, the functionality and the features. So on the left side, you know, it's cool to have an empty file, and you can do things from there, but typically you'll work from existing files. So hit the Open Files button, and you'll see all the files you ever created in Shortcut here. Of course, I've created a lot. Uh, but you can also open files from your computer. So if you hit this button, you can see all the files you've ever created, on, or the, all the files that are accessible on your computer. You can open them, and from there, you can directly edit them on Shortcut. So here's a VC template tracker. Uh, I can directly manually edit it, right? But I can also tell Shortcut, fill out column C. And it will do that also. There's about 500 names here. This might take, depending on how much web search it has to do, it might take 5 to 10, 15 minutes. Uh, but again, it'll be much, much faster than me. Uh, I'll pause it again, and I'll get into some of the actions later. But you can create new files, you can start from scratch or from templates, and at any point, you can export files. So it's very important to us that there's no funny business, there's no watermarks, you would never know that a file was you know, made in shortcut. So with one click, you export it, and now it's on your computer, and you can share it with whoever you want to. That's about it on the left side. On the right side, we'll get into some of the features as well. So there's a getting started checklist. I highly suggest you just go through this and see all the features available to you and play with them. Uh, you'll see that there's an Excel plugin. So for people who you know, need their keyboard shortcuts, you'll find that we already have the highest rated Excel plugin for AI agents in Excel. Um, for people who want to work with more macro enabled files, this is great for them. So you can directly access that and use that as a shortcut user. Uh, you can manage your account settings and you can actually generate share links. So anytime you create any file on Shortcut, you can create a share link and just send this link to somebody. And they'll be able to access all of the stuff you've created. They'll be able to download it. They'll be able to see all of the edits that the agent has made and even be able to revert states. And now moving down here, this is again is the chat input area. This is where you work with Shortcut. Uh, you'll see some sample prompts. These are always there to sort of like help you think about what potential work you can do. Um, and you'll see a couple toggles in the chat input area. So speed and power. Default is power. That basically allows Shortcut to spend as much time making sure it does the task appropriately. But you can also switch between speed mode. And speed mode is going to allow you to do quick punchier edits. On the topic of punchier edits, what you can also do is highlight any range. And you'll notice a pop-up. This pop-up is what we call like the targeted edits feature. You can restrict edits to the, just this range. And you can tell Shortcut, fill this section out. And it will only edit what you've selected. This is extremely important for when you're trying to make like very precise or surgical edits on a very large file, or you don't want to make like ch unintended changes. Again, I'll pause it here. And lastly, of course, you can switch between action mode and ask mode. If you have questions or if you directly want to manipulate a file, default will be action mode, and you can attach files. Now, I think that's enough for you to get started. If you have any questions, just reach out to me at nico at fundamentalresearchlabs.com. I'll be happy to help. Um, but we're excited for you guys to experience the future of spreadsheets.